everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here a very very warm welcome to you my name's emily and i am a knitter crocheter and very occasional sewer today's episode is my usual podcast so i'll be covering any updates any finished objects oh my goodness honestly i do this every week you'd think i'd remember any finished objects any works in progress that i've worked on in the last week or so any cast-ons and any acquisitions before I get stuck in, how are we all today? I hope that you're all doing well, that you've had a lovely week so far. My week has been much better than last week. I am still very tired, but I am feeling a lot better than I was last week. I was quite poorly in last week's podcast, so I, I do feel much better than I did. So thank you all so, so much for all your lovely comments with well wishes and everything like that. It really did mean the world to me. It was so kind of you to, to reach out in that way as well. So thank you. On the comments note, I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone who leaves a comment on my videos. I really, really do appreciate them and they just make me smile every time I read them. It's just so nice that you reach out to me. It's, um, I'm always blown away by your collective knowledge. It's incredible. And I'm also blown away by the projects that you work on and just the general kindness that you show me. So I do want to send a massive, massive thank you all so, so much for commenting on my videos. I do read every single comment and I do my best to get back to you all as quickly as I can. I do admit that I am not the quickest at getting back to you all in the comments. I am doing my best. Well, I am starting to try and respond quicker than I have done in the past because I recognise that I don't want to be a, a slow replier. <laughs> I do intend to be a quicker replier than I am and I um, I need to make a more conscious effort to respond quicker. So firstly, my apologies. And secondly, I will do my best to, to do better in responding to yourselves because as I say, it means so much that you reach out to me and that you do comment on my videos. So I would like to be able to sit down and make that time so that I can sit down and respond properly to all of your comments in a quicker fashion. So that is what I'm going to attempt to do going forward. I, again, I do apologise for massive delays in some of the responses. I am going to focus on the more recent comments first. <clears throat> excuse me I don't know what's going on with my throat and then I'm going to go back to some of the older comments and start working my way back so I meet in the middle basically but I do intend to get back to you all as soon as I can and again my apologies for not being as quick as I would like basically but again thank you so much I just it still baffles me that there are so many of you out there who do take the time and watch my channel and also that there are so many out so many of you out there who do take the time and reach out to me and share your knowledge with me, share the projects that you're working on, share little snippets of your life. It's just, it's really humbling to me and I am so appreciative. You've no idea. So thank you all so, so much. Okay, right, on to updates. I have, um, I don't really have any updates per se. I am going to my friends this weekend, so I'm super excited for that. Rob, my partner, is going to be staying here and he is going to be enjoying a lot of barbecues, he's told me. So very excited for him. He doesn't get the house to himself very often, so it's going to be really, really nice for him. Um, in terms of the next couple of weeks, I, excuse me, I am going to be rather busy. There are a couple of things that are going to be happening that are, that are out of my control and I'm not entirely sure, um, how do I put this? I'm not entirely sure how my, um, why can't I find the words for this? This is really annoying. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to affect my schedule, basically. So please bear with me. If I am late with any video, I will put in the, the uh, community tab if I am late with any videos. That being said, I will do my best and I can't see at this point in time there being an issue in getting the videos to you. At the usual time so that's every friday at 4 p.m uk time i can't see that being changed at this point in time it just depends on what is happening in terms of how it affects my schedule and my recording time and my mental headspace so bear with me on that in theory you're not going to see anything but i thought i'd just slip that in here just in case um there is any change to the schedule um 
yeah, I will keep you updated as best I can on that. But in theory, there won't be any changes. So it might just be me waffling here for no reason, but I thought I'd just slip it in for now. I'm just gonna have a quick sip of my tea, bear with me. Mm. I do love tea, I do love tea. Oh, let me know if you've got a beverage. What kind of beverage do you sit down with when you watch YouTube? I usually sit down with a cup of tea. That's my usual, usual go-to. It depends how I'm feeling as to what kind of tea I have. The minute I've just got a Yorkshire tea with milk. It's not very often I do that because my stomach doesn't really like milk. Um, but I have it as a treat every so often. And today I fancied a treat. So I had one. <laughs> there we are. Right, I am going to get stuck in. So we've done the updates and now we're going to go into finished objects. I do have one for you. This one should be no surprise to any of you because I was making it last week and I said the deadline was today. So today being Friday and I will be gifting this as we speak right now. So here it is. The lovely emotional support chicken by The Knitting Tree. And I mean, I've seen this absolutely everywhere. And it's for good reason that it's everywhere because it's wonderful. Look at it. It's just, oh, it's wonderful. Ugh, I love this so much. I will obviously be making myself one, but this is the emotional support chicken. And it's just wonderful. As I've said before, I cannot express how wonderful it is. It's just amazing. It's such a fun pattern to make. It comes together really quick because the yarn I believe was worsted weight. I use paint box yarn. And I think it's worsted blend. Oh, I believe it's a blend of wool and acrylic, I believe. It's really soft. It's got a little hint of rustedness to it. And my apologies for not having grabbed the yarn to show you, but the yarn is squirreled away in my cupboard again because I'm trying to tidy the house. <laughs> and putting yarn away makes total sense to me. But anyway, this is the lovely emotional support chicken. I may have overstuffed it, but I don't care. It's lovely and squishy. So here it is. Highly recommend the pattern. It is, as I say, really good fun and it's gonna make really good gifts. So I'm really happy and I hope my friend is gonna love this. As I say, it will be gifted as we speak right now. So she will have this by then, by the time you see this video. So that is the emotional support chicken by The Knitting Tree that over there right now we are on to works in progress i have a couple to show you and i think the first one is just no surprise at all because this one is just i can't put it down basically so the first work in progress that i have done some work on this week let me make sure i've got it the right way around which i have is the sweet shop blanket by laura penrose oh no it's getting a bit big now so here it is lovely i absolutely adore this pattern every time i show it to you i just sing its praises because it's so much fun comes together really fast it is technically dk weight but i'm holding fingering weight double laura does note this in the pattern to hold the fingering weight double so that is what i have done plus i mostly use fingering weight anyway but this is the lovely blanket the yarn so this color the actual colored yarn is hand dyed by the wonderful attic spin dye and this was their Beatrix Potter Club. So it was a 12 month subscription of yarn inspired by Beatrix Potter's books and characters. And I think it's just gorgeous. I absolutely adore it. This is Peter Rabbit down here. You can just see here. This is Jemima Puddledeck here. But it's just wonderful. And I think when I showed it you last week, I was around about here. I think I was on this color here. So what I've done is I've just finished off this strip here so now the blanket is five squares by five. I can't remember how much I'm doing, but there's gonna be 99 squares. I know that for a fact. So I've got a little way to go, but it should come along quite nicely. And I haven't run out of steam with this pattern yet. I still really enjoy it. I still absolutely adore the pattern. And it is really good fun to make. So I can't see myself running out of steam. The only issue I have with, well, there's two issues. One issue is I can't put it down. So I'm not working on anything else, really. I have to make a conscious effort to pick, to reach for something else. And the other issue is the ends. 
Oh, the ends, the lovely ends. There are a lot of them. Now they look worse than they are because every single end is actually two strands. So, because I'm holding it double, so it looks worse than it is. That's me trying to sugarcoat it and make it sound not as bad as it is. But we all know that I have issues sewing in ends, but I have sewn some in and I'm gonna make a conscious effort to start sewing some more in because I do not want to keep looking at these ends and thinking, oh, that's gonna be a right chore when it comes to doing it. But anyway, this is the blanket. It's absolutely wonderful. I highly recommend the pattern. It would be great for scrappy projects. It would be great for advent projects. Just all round fantastic. I love it. So that is the lovely Sweet Shop Blanket by Laura Penrose. The next project that I've been working on I'm going to say quite diligently but it's not really quite diligently but I've done a fair amount sorry I'm just picking stuff up I've done a fair amount and this is the lovely oops hang on that's not gone quite to plan has it this is the lovely April snow wrap by Andreas Ruthman I love this pattern it is fantastic this is an assigned Pauling pattern so as you can see where the color changes in the yarn I'm doing a knit stitch. So it is a garter, um, it, is, it is garter, isn't it? I don't know why I'm questioning myself there. It is a garter stitch, but when we come to a color change, it is changed into a stockinette stitch. And it's just gorgeous. And then this section here is really interesting as well because I am basically knitting a row. So I've got two, two different colored yarns on the go. There's two ends attached here. And then I will knit one row with one of the yarns, so this one. And then I will bring the needle all the way back over here and then knit the second row across so that both, both strands of yarn end up on this side of the work. And then I'll do the same and that's what's creating this lovely stripiness. It's beautiful. But on this section, we're not doing anything special with the colour changes. We're just uh, knitting them on both sides, so garter again. And it's just really lovely. And there's eye cord on the edge as well you can see that it's just beautiful i love it we're knitting on the bias so on on, a, on the diagonal but it's oh my gosh i can't i can't i can't sing its praises anymore it's just wonderful i highly recommend you checking it out if you're in, if you're curious but as i say it's just lovely with this color changing uh, assigned pooling i've never done assigned pooling before so it's been fantastic to do the yarn that I'm using is by Zakami Yarn. Let me grab the label. So here it is, the wonderful Zakami Yarn. This colour, so the assigned pooling colour, is called Portable Campfire. And then the other colour, which is the contrasting colour, is called Cinnamon Stone. I think that's what it's called, but that's what I believe it's called. Um, if you check out last week's video, it will be in there, the actual the actual yarns that I'm using. So you'll know for sure then. But it is so much fun. I really do highly recommend this pattern. It's just, oh, it's lovely. It's so unusual as well, for me anyway. I've never done anything like this really with assigned pooling and where I've used um, two different strands of yarn and moving the needle back and forth. I've never done that before. So I'm really enjoying it. It is such fun. This is where I got to the last time I showed you. So I've done a couple of inches, which is great. It's moving, but I think I am not a big fan of purling. So because I'm purling two of the rows, so I'm doing four different rows of two, two of which I'm purling. And it just takes me a little bit longer to purl. So yeah, I kind of lose interest a little bit on the purl rows, but that's a me problem. That's that's nothing else. That's that's not a pattern problem because the pattern is gorgeous, and I love it. This I will be entering into the wonderful Linda Simpson's Disney Sisters Creations Spring Shawl Make Along. I think that's what it's called. I will have the details linked below. I will have the wonderful Linda's channel linked below. I will also put in the hashtag that is being used for this make along. So the Spring Shawl Make Along. And I will also try my best to link the video of all the instructions about how to take part in the make along as well. That will also have the deadline for when the projects need to be not necessarily finished by because she did say that you don't need to finish the project, but that they need to be the entries need to be sent off by then, basically, I believe. 
but all of the details are in that video and as I say I will do my best to link that specific video below as well but I love this and that is the April Snow Wrap by Andreas Ruthman. Right on to the final project that I have worked on the last well it's probably the last couple of days actually because I only picked it up a couple of days ago to kind of just try and finish the rib off but this is the lovely Dartmoor sweater by Kadri and as you can see I'm on the rib I have actually just finished the rib so I need to cast off you can see here is where I got to the last time I showed you so I've done probably about an inch I'd say since then and all I need to do now is cast off but the cast off is a tubular cast off I've never done a tubular cast off before so I'm quite nervous to say the least but I'm definitely going to give it a go I really am I'm going to try my best to do a nice tubular bind off but the reason I haven't done it yet is because I need to sit down and do it all in one go so I need to make sure my head is in the right space and I also need to make sure that I have enough time to do the whole cast off in one rather than cast off halfway and then put it down pick it up and think oh my gosh I don't know where I was so that is my plan with that but it is the lovely cage the lovely Dartmoor sweater by Kadri, which has these beautiful, beautiful I-cord lines across the back, which will sit on the back of the shoulders. Really excited to have this sweater. It's just gorgeous. Ah, I say that as the sun has just come out. Oh, I've got mohair in my eye. Um, the yarn, that's just reminded me. The yarn is, I believe it's, ah, yes, no, I'm, I haven't brought the ball bands over. My apologies. I have this one, which is the Drops Kid Silk Mohair. This is being held alongside this lovely colour. And this is Drops Nepal mix, which I believe is a mix of alpaca and wool, I think. Please don't hold me to that, but it is Drops Nepal mix. And they are absolutely gorgeous. And if you do want more information on the yarn used, I'm trying to think what video I last showed them in. I tell you what, I will do my best to get it cast off for next week and I will have the actual details in there for next week. That's definitely something I need to do better at is to make sure that I have all the ball bands ready whenever I do a podcast. The bag is just over there with the ball bands in, but um, in fact, bear with me a moment. I'm going to go grab them because I think you should see them. Okay, I've got them now. So the colourways, the, the actual yarn that I used is... Drops Kid Silk, Mohair, here we are, and the colour is number 12, there you are, and then the other colour that I'm using is Drops Nepal Mix, which is a blend of 65% wool, 35% alpaca, so I was right, I just didn't know the, the, uh, the percentages, so the colour is 0618. So those are the two yarns that I'm holding together to knit up my beautiful sweater, the Dartmoor sweater by Kadri. Right, okay, so I the next section is cast-ons, of which I have none. None this month, this week, month, oh my goodness, none this week. I was very, very tempted to cast on a pair of socks because I've got some DK weight yarn. I'm getting very, very excited for those Let's start from the start, shall we? For those who don't know, I am trying to use my stash this year. I am giving myself not a no buy year, a lesser buy year. So I'm trying to be a bit more conscious when I buy yarn. I only want to really buy it if I've got a project in mind or I need to kind of come up with a project before I buy the specific yarn that I'm looking at, things like that. So I'm not, not allowing myself to buy yarn because I don't want to make myself feel bad if I buy yarn, because the whole point of buying yarn is to make yourself feel good. <laughs> so that is that is my thought on it. Um, but I just want to kind of bring about excitement for using my stash. And honestly, as I've started using my stash, I've been getting even more excited and looking at different areas of my stash and thinking, I really want to cast that on. I really want to cast that on because I really want to start using that beautiful yarn that I bought, I don't know, two years ago. So I'm trying my best to resist from casting on everything just because I want to start using all this yarn because I've got project bags everywhere with projects that I'm working on. 
and I think I'd prefer to get those finished before I start casting everything on. So yeah, that, that's where I'm at and I'm very proud of myself for not casting those socks on. So yes, <laughs> good job me. <laughs> Right, on to the final section, which is acquisitions. I do have one for you, and I'm not entirely sure how much of a surprise this will be, um, because I can't remember if I actually said that I pre-ordered it, but everyone else got theirs last week. Mine arrived this week. I was a bit nervous because I, th I believe that nobody got dispatch notifications, so I was very confused, and I was so grateful to Michelle from Shell Star Stitches. Please check out her channel. She's absolutely wonderful. I cannot sing her praises enough. I absolutely adore her channel. Um, and she did a video because she'd received her book last week. And she, she did say in her video that nobody had received dispatch notifications. So that sort of put my mind at ease and I stopped panicking because I thought, well, everybody's receiving theirs and I haven't received a dispatch notice. So what's going on? But it was perfectly fine. And thank you, Michelle, so much for putting my mind at ease. You are, as always, wonderful. So thank you. And a wealth of knowledge when it comes to Toft. Absolutely fantastic. Right. So without further ado, the absolutely wonderful item that arrived was the lovely Edwards Menagerie 10th Year Anniversary Book by Kerry Lord of Toft. And I'm really pleased that this is here. I've not really looked through it, to be honest. I'm just going to have a quick flick now. So it's got some wonderful techniques at the back. There are some absolutely gorgeous patterns, as you would expect, really. <clears throat> absolutely beautiful patterns. And again, from looking at Michelle's channel, she did say that there are some lovely PDF patterns that are exclusively given if you pre-ordered the book through Toft. Uh, the book was also signed by Kerry, which is lovely. So that's always appreciated. Oh, it's lovely. I'm really, really pleased that I have this. And it's always exciting when you forget that you pre-order something and then it's all of a sudden there. It's it's wonderful. So that is what came. Along with that, it, because it was the pre-order, I got this absolutely gorgeous little patch, which is Alice the Zebra, I believe. Yes, Alice the Zebra. So really happy that I have that as well. So yes, that is everything that has really happened to, in terms of crafting and uh, acquisitions. I've been very well behaved, I've got to say. But yes, I am going to do my best to do as much crafting as I can this weekend. But as I say, because I'm at my friend's this weekend, I'm not really going to have a massive amount of time to spend. So next week's video might be really short. There might not be a lot going on in it, but I will do my best to get it to you on time anyway. So without further ado, I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the week, rest of the day. I hope you have a lovely weekend planned as well. I also hope that you have some wonderful crafty plans. So let me know below what crafty plans you are hoping to do this weekend. I am hoping to do the cast off on my Dartmoor sweater, really hoping to get that done. Might try and get a couple of squares done on my sweet shop blanket as well. I think that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. As always, it means the absolute world to me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and weekend. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.